what is a block cipher in this video we will try to understand that if a sender wants to send sensitive data to a recipient so that no third party can read it then encryption is a solution the sender can encrypt the data using a secret key and send it across the recipient can use the decryption key to decrypt and read the encrypted data now we know that if the same secret key is used for both encryption and decryption we call the encryption process symmetric key encryption and in public key encryption two different keys are used for encryption and decryption a block cipher uses symmetric key encryption to encrypt a block of data a block of data is a fixed length group of bits a block cipher operates on a block of plain text and generates a block of cipher text so in order to encrypt arbitrary length data using a block cipher we need to divide the plain text into several fixed length blocks what should be the length of a block that depends on the block cipher algorithm you are using but we have a problem here the length of plain text may not be a multiple of the length of a block moreover a message may end predictably for example an email message may end with thanks and regards and we need to obscure the fact we use padding for this purpose usually the plain text is divided into several fixed length blocks first and then the last block is padded we can use several padding algorithms such as pkcs7 now we have another problem if the same block of plain text is encrypted again and again with the same secret key then it should not produce the same cipher text block if that does then attackers may very easily analyze the cipher text and deduce some information about the plain text to address the problem we use a block cipher mode of operation most of these block cipher modes of operation require a random initialization vector and even when the same plain text block is encrypted with the same secret key the block cipher mode of operation ensures that different cipher text is produced for each block many block cipher modes of operation are widely used such as cipher block chaining cipher feedback output feedback counter mode etc interested viewers who want to know more about how these block cipher modes of operation work please refer to the book cryptography and public key infrastructure the relevant links are provided in the description i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more about block cipher please refer to the book cryptography and public key infrastructure or visit the website of the security body the security body also provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos